Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 25 February 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor Donna Slater writes that the private sector is seen as key to catalyzing a much-needed infrastructure revival. A panel of experts who spoke in Crema Media's Upgrading Infrastructure for Economic Growth webinar said that a focus on labor-intensive practices, increased partnership between the public and private sectors, and rechanneled funding methods for infrastructure rollout in South Africa are required to help reduce unemployment, build the economy, and improve local skills. The engineering news features include a preview of the Africa Energy in Daba, where the focus is on increasing the need for energy access. Defence, where technology development enhances defence equipment. And rubber manufacturing and products, where new tyre models are launching later this year. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Namibia, with the Namibian Chamber of Mines feeling positive about 2022. And project management, where a Mpumalanga-based housing relocation project is 80% complete. This week's business leader is Franz Gmeiner, CEO of Orion Real Estate. And as this week's cartoon shows, the president has appointed business luminary Sipun Korsi in an attempt to show that it's serious about reducing unnecessary red tape. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time. 